All right, and local scientists have successfully designed a human trachea out of plastic and stem cells. Now the same technology has been used to build an artificial esophagus. I had the chance to visit this cutting edge lab that has ventured into uncharted territory. We make regenerated organs for transplant. And David Green is the CEO of Harvard Apparatus Regenerative Technology, a biotech company based in Holliston. For the past five years, Green and colleagues have used stem cell technology to build artificial organs. The only organ we can do today in humans is the trachea or this part of the throat. But these artificial windpipes, or tracheas, could one day help up to 7,000 patients a year worldwide who may lose their own windpipes due to... Either trachea cancer, so a tumor that's growing in the throat, or physical damage called trauma to the trachea, often caused by a road accident. What makes these artificial tracheas so unique is that they're seeded with the patient's own stem cells, and therefore patients don't need to take immunosuppressants to fight off rejection. First, scientists use this machine to build a scaffold in the shape of a human windpipe custom fit to a particular patient. The scaffold is composed of fine hair-like fibers made from plastic nanoparticles. Then the scaffold is brought to this area where it's bathed in a patient's stem cells. It's allowed to marinate for a couple of days, then it's ready for transplant. Eight patients who really had no other options for survival have been transplanted with these tracheas so far. Of the eight, the six of them are still alive. Uh, which is a very, very good track record. Two-year-old Hannah Warren was born without a windpipe and was the first patient in the U.S. to receive one of these artificial trachea transplants. She survived with her new windpipe for two months, but then died from complications after an unrelated operation. Now, Green says, scientists have used his technology to build an artificial esophagus. So far in rats, a success. They succeeded just about a month ago and published that work in Nature, showing they were able to regenerate and transplant esophagus, but only in a rat. It's not yet been done in humans. Now, Green says the next step is to get FDA approval for their tracheal transplants, and they hope to begin clinical trials next year. They also hope to apply their technology to the design of other organs in the future, perhaps the small intestine, and then maybe even the heart and lungs. It's an amazing lab. They're doing incredible work there. Incredible they can start with this sort of hybrid of having the plastic and your stem cells, so it keeps the body from rejecting it. And incredible. you should see the lab. It's just, it's, it's a beautiful lab. It's a great space lab technicians hard at work mm. so hopefully it'll be FDA approved. we're just a few years away from this all happening all yeah. the organs being built in a lab it would be pretty amazing, amazing. All right, Doc, thanks very much thank you and you can send your